Ten years on from the London bombings, the terrorism threat is rated as severe. It means an attack is highly likely. We're told the conflict in Syria has raised the risk here. The responsibility for keeping us safe rests on the shoulders of this police officer. If one of the Londoners in this park today were to spend a day sitting at your desk, looking at the intelligence that comes in, the threats, and also the way the police responds to those threats, would they feel frightened or would they feel reassured? I think anyone seeing the intelligence that we're seeing on a daily basis um, would be concerned. Um, I think if you look at it alongside the capabilities we've got today, there's no cause to be frightened, but people would be concerned. Um, the reach of people overseas trying to influence people in the UK to commit attacks is significant. The number of arrests we've been making has escalated quite dramatically. Um, an arrest a day pretty much last year, which is much higher than ever before. And half of those arrests have been in London. Last week, the capital saw its biggest ever terrorism exercise. The Met says there's no specific threat, but this is a different style of attack from 7-7 and one that France and Tunisia have suffered recently. What did you learn from that exercise? You were in the COBRA meetings at the top table there. Were there areas of concern that you will work on? There were some things about our protocols where you thought actually we could get a bit swifter in some elements, but fundamentally actually I was really reassured by how far we've come. You had firearms officers from the Metropolitan Police, British Transport Police turning up, their ability to go forward into an unknown situation and confront terrorist threats very quickly. We've developed our tactics to be able to do that to minimise the loss of life to the public. And the police stress, in the 10 years since the 7-7 bombings, the killing of Lee Rigby has been the only time extremists have succeeded. Are you able to say how many plots, potentially on a scale of 7-7, you've been able to thwart? In the last year we've, we've dealt with a handful of plots um, and it's several tens of plots over the last decade. I mean, the, the plots are of different scales and sizes. You get the grand complex plans that are organised often from overseas down to the lone actor. Is it around 50? Is that a fair figure? I, I think sort of the sort of 40, 50 over the last decade is the sort of order of number of plots that have been confronted and um, sort of a handful over, the la handful over the last year. And it's, it's been a busy last year. Counter-terrorism police claim the profile of the would-be attacker is changing and say they need more help from London's communities to stop them. Rather than running a secret organisation, which is what terrorist groups have done before, they're trying to create a cult. They're trying to create a sort of a, a, a wicked following of people who will act in their name. And some of that is about them reaching out to the vulnerable. We're seeing more young people being drawn into it. We're seeing people with mental health issues. It is people in communities who are going to help spot those risks and help intercept them before they develop. In light of that, do we face an unprecedented threat? Terrorist threats have gone up and down over the years. If we look at some of the, um, some of the challenges we face from Irish threats, uh, I, I think unprecedented might be the wrong word. Um, we're facing a threat of, a, of significant proportion that presents some real challenges to us. And it's of a type and a nature that we haven't seen before. Nick Beek, BBC London News.